I just want to talk about something that I'm really super passionate about. Super, but uh, super passionate about. Um, and that is, I feel like my radio is really loud. Um, and that is, uh, I actually posted a picture the other day, which maybe I should have posted. I don't know. Um, just one of those like Facebook things that are going around. Um, it's like a Facebook picture, and it said, um, if you're hurt by a church and you decide to not be a Christian anymore, then your faith was in the building and not God, um, which I both agree and disagree with. I think that if you get hurt by a church and you decide to stop being Christian altogether, then you your faith was not in your faith was in the people, not in God. Um, and I feel like also you did not have a genuine, real experience, like a life-changing experience with God. Um, uh, a girl on my friends, my Facebook friend list, she um, she shared it, and I guess she had been hurt by the church or by someone in the church or whatever. And um, she said something that just kind of didn't didn't sit well with me. That um, that why would she want to be a part of a religion? Um, whose uh, creator or you know God or whatever who causes its followers to um, willingly like hurt other people um, and like if there are people out there who call themselves Christians and they are hurting other people then God did not cause them to do that like God doesn't call us to hurt people. So if there's someone who has been hurt by a church that was hurting people, then those people were not following the voice of God. Those people were not spirit-filled listening to God's voice, in my opinion. Um, and that kind of led to a discussion um, with my husband about how a lot of people use God as an excuse to be self-righteous and to um, be like self-centered and um, what I, like what I put in, in my comment back was that God doesn't God calls us to love people not to destroy people with our words um, the Bible says that it's God's goodness that leads us to repentance, not Christians like beating people up through what they say and their actions. Um, <clears throat> and so the discussion that me and my husband had about this was um, like about morals. Um, like I feel like too many people believe that the Bible is just there to shape a Christian's morals and to try to like to make them a better person but I don't think that's what it's about at all um, I feel like I have a very empathetic um, heart where I can see everyone's point of view like every single like topic every single like controversial subject I can almost always see both sides of it, both points of view. And um, like if I wasn't a Christian, if I did not believe in the Bible and what it had to say, and if I didn't listen to God's voice, um, I would definitely, I mean, of course I'd live differently, but I would also, my morals would be different. Like the way that I I don't even know how to put this. Um, like my side on certain subjects would be different just because I can certainly see their point. Um, but what it all come down, comes down to for me is that we are not just on this earth for, you know, 75, 80 years and then we die and that's the end. Like, we're not just on this earth to make a difference on this earth. Um, like, we are supposed to help people 
and like my daughter always says if you have enough to spare you have enough to share so that's what not that's not what I'm saying don't don't put words in my mouth I'm not saying that we should not be here to make a difference and to help people but it's not about morals um, I've heard people say before that you don't have to be a Christian to have good morals and that's very true but like I said before a, a Christian's goal shouldn't be to read the Bible so they have good morals um, like I read the Bible because I'm literally in love with the Word of God I read it and I get just these like explosive thoughts and these revelations and it's just a beautiful wonderful thing I don't read the Bible to go down my checklist of morals or to make sure that I'm following everything to the letter that's not why I read the Bible I read the Bible because that's how God speaks to me um, for a long time whenever my husband was in rehab for nine months we were apart maybe longer than that no maybe ten months I don't know for nine or ten months whenever he was gone in rehab at rehab um, and I was you know with the girls I literally poured myself into my Bible like I just like was always reading it and taking notes and just listening to what all God had to say and um, there's a scripture that says let the word of God be true and every man a liar and I put that deep deep down within myself and every single time that I would read something in the Bible that would contradict how my life was going or how I was feeling on the inside or how other Christians were acting or even like a like a worldly moral of mine that I had any time that I would come up against any time I would read the Bible and it would be different than one of those things in my life the Word of God was always true because that's God's best but so many people live this just defeated life whenever the Bible the Bible says that we're supposed to be victorious and not just over what you think like not just victorious as in you're gonna go to heaven not just victorious as in you know I don't know what what people think but we are supposed to live victorious as in sickness cannot touch me um, poverty will not touch me um, like anything that the devil throws against me even things that just happen you know to happen to me those things cannot touch me um, so many, I, I mean, I grew up in a Pentecostal church where we talked about the Holy Spirit constantly, but I never understood what he was for or why I needed him in my life or how he was supposed to direct my life. Not until, um, not until I had this amazing revelation that God does not control every single aspect of my life did I realize what the Holy Spirit was there for. I draw on the power of the Holy Spirit daily in my life. Um, like I, I command sickness out of my body. I command um, peace over myself, peace over the, the girls. Um, it's like, that's why I get so like fired up whenever somebody does not understand the power of God and does not they just don't get it and I mean that's not their fault like the world is not gonna look like a believer but so often believers look like the world and that's not okay um, I'm not saying like outwardly I'm saying like they're anyway um, but yeah, that's just a subject that I'm really, really super, super passionate about um, is the power of the Holy Spirit. The fact that the world is so much smaller than you think it is. Um, this life is so short and we should spend it helping people and not hurting people. And we should spend it not so worried about fixing our morals or fixing people's point of view. Um, 
Instead, we just need to listen to listen to God. Be in the Spirit constantly. Um, like I said before, the the Bible is the main way that God speaks to me. But there's a million different ways that He can speak to you. I heard, um, I think it was Arthur Minches, um, said said one time in one of his um, one of his sermons or one of his teachings. He said that if God is speaking to you in an audible voice. That means that you haven't been listening to any other way that he's been trying to speak to you. And I believe that because God speaks to me so often just through the word of God or um, I, I have a problem with being distracted by like, I call it like, like screen time, like with my computer or with my phone or with TV. And um, today that happened, I just had a headache and um, I was trying to like just pray about it and just, you know, trying to just relax. So... I um, closed my eyes and I sipped on my coffee and I just laid my head back and God showed me myself speaking in front of my church um, and what I was speaking about was something that I'd never thought about um, and I don't think that was like a vision as in that's what I was I'm supposed to like speak about in my church but I do believe that that's what God was trying to tell me and that in that moment because I woke up just so refreshed well I didn't wake up I wasn't asleep but like I, I sat up and I was just so refreshed and I felt so much better um but anyway I'm, I'm rambling and I'm almost at the front of the line to pick up Sophie so um I don't know guys just if you have any questions about that if you have any comments um just leave them below if you have you know, anything to say um I would definitely not I'm not gonna any kind of healthy discussion, any kind of, um, like, actual questions. I'm not going to entertain people who are just on here to bash God and to bash what I believe. Like, I'm not about that. If you if you want to do that, you can go elsewhere. <laughs> um, but if you have any, like, actual questions, any, any you know, genuine, um, like, if you're confused about anything that I've said or anything like that, um, just comment or... Uh, I guess I'll leave a link like for my Instagram or something below. I don't even know, but um, yeah, this has been fun. Thanks for watching. If you like this type of video, um, subscribe. I'll definitely do more of these about um, like my beliefs and you know what all gets me through the day and whatever else. I'm gonna get a few vlogs in, I believe. Um, some exciting things are happening this weekend, so um, yeah, so look forward to that. Um, Bye.